Greetings Mac fans, Chris here with the second in a series of tips for Mac users who are looking to upgrade their computer for the first time. While some of this info may be old hat to you veteran upgraders, these are the tips I wind up giving most often to new upgraders. This second tip is something that's important regardless of how many computers you've upgraded before, that is, back up your data. While having a backup in case of emergency is always a good idea, it's even more important when you have your computer open because, at that point, it's really just a matter of odds. Let's face it, no matter how skilled or careful you are, it happens. I've seen incidents where somebody accidentally scraped a component off their logic board when their screwdriver slipped, and I've seen those little living static electricity generators we call cats decide to jump in your lap at exactly the wrong time and somehow manage to zap a vital component. And those are just the bizarre cases, completely random, yet the end result is a broken computer. Having a backup is just a little insurance, so in case something goes wrong, you don't lose all your data. Of course, that begs the big question, so how do you make a backup? That, my friends, is a little more complex. Depending on your situation and needs, there are multiple ways to back up your computer, such as cloning or through Time Machine, and the instructions for each vary, depending on the program or method you choose to use. Fortunately, we've covered this topic several times over the years on the Rocket Yard. All you need to do is head over to blog.maxsales.com. Do a quick search for backups and you'll have a wealth of backup information at your fingertips. So to sum up, while keeping a current backup is always a good idea, it's definitely something you want to have when upgrading your computer. Not because upgrading is inherently dangerous, but because you never know what could happen. Fortunately, there are a lot of different ways you can do this, each with its benefits and drawbacks. You just need to find what works best for you. We'll have more tips coming soon. Be sure to like and subscribe for further installments.